hello everyone, welcome back, Severed is here, coming back with part 2 of what if Deku was Xiao. Now where we last left off, Izuku has run away from his school after the police officers find out about that he is the one that stole the ancient mask of the conqueror demons and also the vision of the animal, which is, is the real name is animal, not cryo like the like the last part I was just calling it cryo while it's actually animal anyways let, that's one thing that I fucked up about but <laughs> regal beside that Izuku in the end has teleported away me you know without his will the mask just teleporting him away into an alleyway in the end he meets inside his consciousness about that Asian soul of the warrior Xiao telling him that he should collect the other six visions He already have one and he should find the others Right now telling him that he should to go into the forest and hide a little bit not going back into his mother house because the bullies might be there and Izuku decided to the to do that and going into the forest Now before we continue don't forget like subscribe and let's get right into it as Izuku, you know, walking into the forest, going just left and right, going deeper and deeper in the forest, as he said, So, where should I go, and what should I do now? Maybe I should find a cave to stay in it for a couple of days? And maybe I should start training about these weird powers of winds, just like Xiao told me. But the question is, where is the mask right now? It suddenly just disappeared, and I don't really know where is it. Uh, maybe I just should sit down, as after that, Izuku walking for a couple of hours, in the end, he finding a cave, as he just come inside, and just putting his back on the ground, and trying to lean against the wall to sleep, or at least to rest his eyes, as he, once he closed his eyes, he being teleported into his, you know, black void, into his mindscape or something like that as he see in front of him Xiao as Xiao said so you got sleep again good listen here your training will gonna start now you should be strong enough to fight I doesn't want to see you just running around trying to count on your luck to find the other six visions the fate of the world are right now in your hands and that's why I am so worried so I wish that you will not gonna hesitate, as Izuku said, um, hesitate about what, and, alright, what are we gonna do first, as Xiao said, first of all, let's train on your wind control, look at your hands, and start imagining a tornado between them, start imagining that the wind is surrounding your arm, from your elbow, or not the elbow, from your, you know, shoulder into your wrist, Imagine, feel the wind around of you, as Izuku tried to do that, as in the end, he managed to create some sort of a tornado around his uh, left arm, from his going from right his shoulder into his wrist, as Izuku said, wow, it's actually working, as Xiao said, good, now try to throw it, as after that, Izuku being pulled out of his mindscape, Back into the real world as Izuku waking up saying, what the, where am I? As after that he starts feeling, you know, something hitting his face, a gust of wind hitting his face. As he look on his left hand, seeing that the wind tornado is still there as Izuku said, huh, it's actually working. As he just come outside and throw it up in the sky, creating like a big tornado going right into the, into the clouds in the sky. Uh, making some sort of a big tornado around the forest and the power of that wind tornado was strong enough to change the weather and make it rain as Izuku said whoa that's so powerful is, is, is this really the power of him no wonder that he was such an ancient warrior am I really gonna learn all of his tricks but how am I gonna learn that right now if I'm as after that he hear a sound from behind saying don't worry i managed to put my unconscious into your head as izuku turn around but he see nothing as izuku said where where xiao where are you as xiao said i'm in your head idiot i'm dead don't you 
don't you know? I'm already died. I can't be existed. But I still have my soul and my mask, so I'll be in your head trying to teach you a couple of tricks. Now, I was kinda surprised that you managed to actually use the tornado wind, or the wind fist as I once called it. Let's train for a couple of months before we start to search for the second vision, alright? As Izuku agreed to that, and in the next couple of months, Izuku was training with Xiao on his wind control, his dashing ability, and uh, of course his ability to, to teleport, and sometimes uh, of course, Xiao just telling Izuku how to summon the mask by just simply swapping his hand in front of his face, making the mask appear. But Izuku, every time that he used it, his his body going in a lots of pain, and immediately he just throw it away because right now he need to learn how to <clears throat> make his body adapt to the massive amount of pain that the mask giving him. In the end. Right now, Izuku just hiding inside his uh, little, of course, <laughs> a cave, just sitting down as he said, ah, Damn it, that was really hurting. <sighs> Come on, stand up, we doesn't have a lot of time. As Izuku said, you need to chill down a little bit. You know, if I chill down a little bit, no one will gonna be there to kick your ass and force you to train. The fate is of the world right now between your hands. And this is such a stupid thing in my eyes. I'm not gonna just wait for you to wake. I'm gonna make sure that the world is between a good arms. That is will gonna be saved from the demons of the underground. That the world will not end in between your hands. As Izuku said, alright, alright, just let me go into the city and eat something. I'm quite hungry. As she said, alright, just go and eat something. As Izuku, you know, going into the city, by the couple of months that he was inside the forest, he has gone a little bit through some changes, like Xiao making his eyes and hair change into his eyes turning yellow and his hair kinda black and blue because he doesn't want anyone to recognize Izuku. And second of all, Izuku was training on his wind control, still training to know how to dash, how to punch and things like that. As right now Izuku just walking, is still wearing the, you know, animal vision in his right wrist, just walking down the street wearing a black hoodie jacket that he stole from a store. As he just walking and walking until he suddenly bumps into one as he said, I'm sorry, are you okay? As Izuku, you know, see in front of him a girl with a green hair. Her her hair is like vines, you know, the girl from, you know, class 1B one, one that have hair like vines. Yeah, she is that girl. As she said, ah, sorry for bumping into you. I really didn't mean it, as Izuku said, no, sorry, it's my fault, here, let me help you, as Izuku helping her collect her books, as, you know, Izuku seeing her outfit, he said, wait, are you from UA, as the girl said, yeah, I'm from UA, class 1A to be precise, I'm trying to be a hero, oh, really, that's cool, I also was going into UA, but I couldn't come into the entrance exam in the perfect time, so I lost my chance, Oh, really? Well, I wish that the gods will gonna pistol upon you a second chance in the next year, so we're gonna be able to accomplish your dreams. As Izuku said, um, thank you. Here, this is your bag. As he just gave her her bag and said, well, goodbye, as he just leave the place. And after that, Izuku go eating something inside some sort of a restaurant in the end he go back into the forest as he standing in the middle of the forest and said all right xiao what's we're gonna do today today is the day to collect the second vision midoriya you trained well i'm not gonna say that you are perfect but i can say that you are getting hold of the power anyways now i want you to focus on your vision focus on the animal vision Feel the air around the planet, feel every single gust of wind, everywhere, feel every living beings around of you. As Izuku said, you know that's half of your, I'm not gonna even talk with you, I'm just gonna do it. As Izuku tried to focus in the end, 
the vision start to glow up as Izuku just focus in and after that he starts seeing the winds around of him seeing where the wind is giving him the direction as you know Xiao said all right follow the wind Midoriya for the first vision that we should collect as after that Izuku starts walking in the forest and after that he found something found another cave as Izuku seeing that cave inside the mountain and said huh cool so the vision inside here as izuku pointing with his uh, you know own vision of animal into the cave seeing it that start to glow as izuku said huh, looks like it's actually in inside there as uh, xiao and his head said all right from now on i'm not gonna talk this is your chance to prove to me that you deserve my power if you manage to collect that and the vision that inside this place i'm just gonna continue helping you and train you more and more but if you failed you will die and when you will die we i'm gonna have to wait for us like 100 other years to be able to find a new conqueror of demons for the mask to choose a new holder understand so try not to die because i'm bored from just waiting and waiting and behind some sort of a stupid box of glass as Izuku said all right let's see and after that Izuku go inside and when he come inside he see the place is so dark but after that he smash his face into a wall and fall on the ground but when he point with his vision he see like this a weird simple simple that is look like a heart shape but at the same time a green heart shape as Izuku said huh is this the, the simple of one of the visions as you know Xiao said yes this is one of the visions now touch the wall as Izuku touching the wall with his left hand the animal vision start to glow and the heart shape on the wall start to glow with the green color opening the door opening the wall in front of Izuku revealing to him a, a weird big underground place is like a, a whole kind of a castle underground as Izuku seeing this he said wow is it inside there as Izuku pointing with his hand and said of course a big castle under the ground of course as after that start going inside start walking inside the place and he just looking around saying this place is so dark and so dirty Xiao are you there Xiao oh really you're not gonna talk with me of course what why what was i expecting from you eh, anyways let's see and after that izuku suddenly press on something using his leg on the ground as after that some a big kind of a an axe swinging in front of izuku face as izuku you know standing saying is it uh, is it is that is a is that an axe as he look on his left side he see the axe just smash into the wall and said all right so this place have some traps i need to be careful and after that izuku start walking activating some traps but in the end he finally managed to get into the last room as he's standing and seeing in front of him in the end of the room he see a green vision in front of him as xiao finally speaks in his head and said that's it that's the didro vision the the vine the living the what the you human calls it i believe it was nature the dyro vision giving the the holder the ability to control the nature around of him plants trees and things like that as izuku said huh all right well let's go there as izuku come closer and closer and after that he put his hand on the vision as he immediately being thrown away by a strong wave of power a green aura coming from the vision throwing him away as izuku smash into a wall and starts coughing sick <laughs> what the why why is it did this and after that the green power that coming out of the vision start going under the ground and when izuku seeing in front of him that the green power has been morphed into some rocks and izuku seeing in front of him a big creature looking like this as izuku said what the fuck 
How did you? Why did? Why? What? Why did it do that? As Xiao said, "Sorry, you're alone." As Izuku said, "Wait, don't, don't leave me now." As after that, the big giant creature immediately throw his punch on Izuku. Izuku immediately dash into the left, and stand up, saying, "All right." Alright, Izuku, you didn't train for the whole 10 months just to being crushed by an, an, an oversized golem that made out of a green energy from an ancient power from the vision of Dryo. What did I just say? I don't know, but come on, focus on your fight. As after that, the creature looking back at Izuku and start going at him full speed. Izuku seeing the creature and immediately go at him. And after that, he just slide between his legs and jump behind his back. And after that, right now, he's in his back as he engulfed his arm with that, with that tornado and said, Wind punch! As he immediately throw his punch on the creature and after that creating like a big tornado throwing the creature into a wall as his light getting a little bit you know turning into nothing may just disappear as Izuku seeing the creature without his light he said <laughs> take this big oversized golem so now all what I should do is just but before he managed to move any any further immediately he being covered with vines and Izuku tried to move but said damn it why what the as he look back he see the creature start to glow back again and after that he start going f full speed and Izuku as Izuku said no 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 don't, don't don't do it as immediately he being punched in his stomach throwing him up in the air as the creature smash his hands into the ground creating like big two vines from the ground going to Get hold of Izuku. Izuku seeing this, he immediately cover his hands with the wind, and after that, throwing some punches on the vines, like chopping them from there from the ground. And after that, he right now standing in front of the creature and throwing a punch on him. The creature didn't even flinch this time as Izuku said, "What the?" And after that, he, the creature immediately got hold of Izuku and start crushing him with between his arm as Izuku said, "I have it. I got." And here, as after that, Izuku remembering something as he said, Oh, damn it, please, please just don't hurt me too much. As he start focusing as the mask of the conqueror of demons being morphed on his face. And after that, Izuku immediately teleport out of the arm of the creature. As the creature looking at Izuku with a black and blue aura standing in front of him. After that, Izuku just putting his hand in front of him as a weird looking spear morph in front of Izuku and he got hold of it as he said, Now, let's try again, but this time, I'm not holding back. As after that, the creature going right at Izuku to throw a punch, Izuku going right at him and after that, he going to stab him but... Before he managed to stab him, he just dashed through the creature and being right now behind of him as he taking his spear and immediately stab it into the back of the creature and engulf the spear with wind throwing like a big tornado inside the creature body, blowing it up into pieces all around. And after that, the power of the... Of course, the diary just turned into nothing. It's just disappeared and start fading away. And after that... Izuku immediately swap away, swap his hand in front of his face, making the mess goes away as he fall on the ground and start breathing heavily. As Izuku fall on the ground and start breathing heavily, saying, Damn it. Damn it. It was so painful. As Xiao finally speaks again in his head, said, Good job. You managed to actually hold, hold yourself, hold the pain back and start focusing on the power of the mask more than focusing on the pain. Well, you done something good. Now get the vision and let's leave this place before I start to collapse. As Izuku said, oh, fucking idiot. You're so, you're really an asshole, you know. Call me whatever you want, just get the vision already. As Izuku just go closer into the vision and got hold of it. As he said, well, Two down, five more to go, right? As after that, Izuku just taken the dry vision and start coming out of the place. 
as in the end he coming outside and go back into his cave as he just looking on the vision saying so what should I do with it should I use it or something as Izuku tried to put it on his uh, you know right wrist but once he tried to do that he immediately being pushed away thrown into the wall of the cave as Izuku said damn, damn it is, is this vision will gonna do this every time I touch it as Xiao speak in his head saying of course it will gonna do that there is no possible way for to for you to control this vision the vision of the animo chose you izuku midoriya and my mask has chose you too but the dryo vision will gonna choose a new holder so you will gonna have to search for that holder as izuku said so you telling me that I just, I can't only just collect all of the vision, I need to collect the people that are being chosen by them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you have a problem with that? As Izuku said, yeah, of course. Of course, more, more people that are worthy of holding the power of the ancient warriors from a long time, right? So, where should I take this? Of course, take it into the wielder. Is, isn't that easy to understand? As Izuku said, but the question is, where is the new wielder of this vision? As Izuku pointing on one of the direction and said, huh, well, looks like I find it. And after that, he starts walking into the direction that the Dryo vision is taking him to. And this one gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what do you think about this part. And what do you think will gonna happen the next part? Well, I have nothing more to say than Severed was here.